Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Vincent Van Gogh Dive into the intriguing life of Vincent Van Gogh, where every brushstroke is a story of passion and struggle. From his solitary sail to his masterpiece created in seclusion, this video unveils the moments that forged his legend. Prepare to discover the tortured soul behind the genius, in a story that defies time. Number 10. He painted over 900 paintings in just 10 years. Vincent van Gogh, one of the most influential post-impressionist painters, left an indelible mark on the art world with his prolific output over a surprisingly short period. In less than a decade, Van Gogh produced more than 900 paintings and 1,100 drawings and sketches, a testament to his unwavering passion and dedication to art. This intensely productive phase of his life was marked by a relentless exploration of techniques, themes, and emotional expressions through his work. The vastness of his work becomes even more impressive when considering the conditions under which he worked. Van Gogh faced numerous challenges, including mental health issues, financial difficulties, and almost non-existent critical recognition during his lifetime. Nonetheless, his commitment to his artistic vision remained unshakable. He often worked in the field under extreme conditions, capturing the essence of the natural world with his vibrant palette and characteristic thick brushstroke technique. This period of intense creativity was partly fueled by his correspondence with his brother Theo, who provided not only financial but also emotional support. The letters between the Van Gogh brothers reveal a deep exchange of ideas about art, literature, and personalities of the time, allowing Vincent to remain intellectually and emotionally stimulated. His legacy is characterized by an extraordinary ability to convey emotion and beauty through color and texture, achieving an intensity rarely seen in the work of his contemporaries. Through his landscapes, still lifes, and portraits, Van Gogh explored the human condition and man's interaction with nature in ways that continue to resonate with audiences and artists alike. The enormity of his output in such a short period is a testament not only to his technical skill but also to his tireless pursuit of artistic expression and understanding of the world around him. Number 9. He sold only one painting during his lifetime. Vincent Van Gogh's career, though incredibly productive and creatively vibrant, was marked by the constant challenge of lack of recognition. Among his more than 900 paintings, the Red Vineyard has the unique distinction of being the only work sold during his lifetime. This event occurred in Brussels in 1890, for a modest sum, and offers a heartbreaking perspective on Van Gogh's struggles to gain recognition for his work. This fact underscores a striking paradox in art history. One of the most celebrated and financially valued artists of the post-modernity barely saw a glimpse of success in his own life. The sale of The Red Vineyard becomes a point of profound reflection on the fluctuations of artistic taste and value over time. In Van Gogh's era, Art was dominated by traditional academic styles, and his vibrant landscapes and expressive portraits were often considered too radical. The lack of public and critical appreciation exacerbated his already fragile emotional and financial well-being, further isolating him in his world of intense creativity and deep personal suffering. The story behind The Red Vineyard offers a glimpse into the brief flash of recognition that Van Gogh experienced. The painting, with its rich red tones and vibrant depiction of workers in a vineyard, reflects Van Gogh's unique ability to infuse ordinary scenes with profound emotion and meaning. The sale of this work must have offered a moment of validation, albeit brief, for Van Gogh, who spent most of his adult life battling public indifference to his art. This singular act of sale sharply contrasts with the current valuation of Van Gogh's work, whose pieces now command astronomical prices in the art market. The story of The Red Vineyard becomes a powerful narrative about the resilience of art and the transformation of artistic value over time, offering a window into the struggle and genius of one of history's most influential artists. Number 8. He suffered from mental illness. Vincent van Gogh's life was deeply affected by mental illness, an aspect that not only influenced his personal existence but also left an indelible mark on his artistic work. Throughout his life, 
Van Gogh experienced psychotic episodes and delusions, with symptoms that some modern scholars have associated with conditions like temporal lobe epilepsy, severe depression, or even bipolar disorder. These mental health crises significantly impacted his ability to interact socially and maintain stable relationships, as well as his ability to continue working. The most dramatic episodes in Van Gogh's life include his self-harm when, in an act of psychological agitation, he cut off part of his own ear. This act of self-aggression is one of the most well-known and debated moments of his life, symbolizing the degree of his psychological suffering. Additionally, his periods in psychiatric hospitals, where he sometimes confined himself for treatment, coincided with some of his most productive and creative phases, demonstrating a complex relationship between his illness and his art. Van Gogh's struggle with his mental health is also reflected in his correspondence, especially in letters to his brother Theo, where he expressed his fluctuating moods and perceptions about his own condition. These letters provide an intimate glimpse into his internal torment and the constant search for relief and understanding through his art. Van Gogh's ability to create deeply emotional and technically revolutionary works, despite his illness, challenges conventional notions about creativity and mental health. His paintings, with their vibrant colors and emotional brushstrokes, can be seen as visual representations of his internal struggles, offering a unique perspective on the mind of a tormented genius. His work not only survived his personal torment but was also enriched by it, providing an artistic legacy that continues to inspire and move the world. Number 7. The Famous Severed Ear One of the most notorious and tragically iconic episodes in the life of Vincent van Gogh is the moment he cut off part of his own left ear. Van Gogh's decision to mutilate himself has been interpreted in various ways, reflecting his state of emotional isolation, his desire for self-punishment, or even as a complex act of communication stemming from his deep psychological crisis. This event not only highlights the severity of his mental condition but also showcases the intensity of his emotions, a duality that permeates his artistic work. After the incident, Van Gogh was hospitalized and began receiving treatment, which led to one of his most productive phases as a painter. During this period, he created some of his most iconic works, such as, The Bedroom, and, Sunflowers. The severed ear thus became a symbol of his torment but also of his unwavering commitment to art, even in moments of personal despair. This act of self-harm is indicative of the complexity of Van Gogh as both an artist and a person. The severed ear remains one of the most fascinating and deeply sad anecdotes in art history encapsulating Van Gogh's struggle with his genius and his illness. Through this extreme gesture, Van Gogh unconsciously communicated the depth of his suffering, an emotional legacy that adds a dimension of humanity and vulnerability to his impressive body of work. Number 6. Starry Night was painted from an asylum. The creation of Starry Night, one of Vincent Van Gogh's most celebrated works, occurred under extraordinary circumstances that highlight both the artist's genius and his battle against mental illness. In May 1889, after several psychotic episodes and the incident with his ear, Van Gogh voluntarily admitted himself to the St. Paul de Mosley Psychiatric Hospital in St. Remy, France. During his stay at the hospital, Van Gogh found some stability that allowed him to continue with his work resulting in the creation of over 150 paintings in the year he remained there, including, Starry Night. Painted from the window of his room in the hospital, Starry Night is a vibrant and emotional expression of the night sky as seen by Van Gogh. The work is notable for its innovative combination of color, light, and movement, capturing the essence of the cosmos with a dynamism that seems to presage modern art. The painting reflects not only Van Gogh's fascination with the night but also his mood during this period. The swirls in the sky, combined with the intensive use of color and the idealized depiction of the village below, suggest a mix of hope, curiosity, and deep internal unrest. Van Gogh's creative process in the hospital was remarkably prolific despite the restrictions imposed by his treatment and health. He was allowed to paint in his room and, occasionally, under supervision, in the nearby fields. This environment, 
though confined, provided Van Gogh with a degree of peace and stability that had been elusive in his life. His work from this period is a testament to how, even in adverse circumstances, his creativity not only survived but flourished. Starry Night symbolizes Van Gogh's eternal struggle against his inner torment, his search for comfort in the beauty of the natural world, and his relentless creative drive. This masterpiece is not only a milestone in the history of art but also offers a window into the mind of an artist who, even in the darkest moments, could see and represent the world with unmatched beauty and vigor. Number 5. His working method was unique. Vincent van Gogh is widely recognized for his distinctive technique and unique approach to painting, aspects that have secured him an indelible place in art history. Characterized by his use of vibrant colors, bold brushstrokes, and thick impasto, Van Gogh developed an expressionist style that was ahead of its time, marking a dramatic contrast with the prevailing artistic trends of his era. His working method, deeply personal and innovative, reflected his desire to capture the emotional essence of his subject, beyond its mere physical appearance. Impasto, a technique involving the application of paint in thick layers, allowed Van Gogh to endow his works with exceptional texture and dimensionality. This technique not only visually enriched the surface of the painting but also intensified the emotional expression of the work. Van Gogh's brushstrokes, often in spirals or undulating shapes, created a dynamism and vibration that seemed to infuse his compositions with life. His approach allowed for a more intuitive and emotional representation of the world one that sought to capture the inner voice of his subject. In addition to his technique, Van Gogh's choice of colors was revolutionary. He moved away from the sober and realistic palette of the time to explore highly saturated and contrasting color combinations. This exploration of color as a vehicle for emotion and expression was fundamental to the development of modern art. His experiments with complementary colors, such as the vibrant oranges and blues in Starry Night, demonstrate his understanding of how color can influence the viewer's perception and emotions. Van Gogh's working method was not just a matter of style or technique. It was an extension of his search for emotional authenticity and a deeper representation of his experience of the world. Through his innovations, he challenged the artistic conventions of his time and paved the way for future generations of artists. His paintings, with their emotional intensity and rich texturality, continue to inspire and challenge viewers, serving as a powerful reminder of art's ability to capture the complexity of human experience. Number 4. Vincent and Theo, a unique brotherly relationship. The deep connection between Vincent van Gogh and his brother Theo is one of the most moving stories in the art world. More than just siblings, Vincent and Theo shared a profoundly intimate and complex relationship, founded on unconditional support, mutual understanding, and a shared passion for art. Theo, an art dealer in Paris, was not only Vincent's main financial support during most of his artistic career but also his most fervent advocate and confidant. The correspondence between Vincent and Theo provides invaluable testimony of this unique relationship. Through hundreds of letters, Vincent shared not only details of his creative process and personal struggles but also his most intimate reflections on life, art, and the quest for meaning. These letters, filled with despair, hope, and deep introspection, reveal the extent of the bond that united the two brothers. This support was not limited to the emotional or financial realm. Theo played a crucial role in introducing Vincent to contemporary artistic currents and fostering connections with other artists of the time. After Vincent's death, Theo dedicated himself tirelessly to preserving and promoting his brother's legacy, an effort that ultimately cost him his own health and well-being. Unfortunately, Theo died just six months after Vincent, a tragic testament to the deep emotional impact Vincent's life and death had on him. Theo's dedication to ensuring Vincent's work received recognition was instrumental in the posthumous recognition of Vincent as one of the great masters of painting. The story of Vincent and Theo is a powerful reminder of the impact that love, support, and unwavering faith can have on an individual's life. 
Through their relationship, we can glimpse not only the struggle and sacrifice behind Vincent van Gogh's artistic genius but also the humanity and brotherly love that sustained him through his darkest moments. Number 3. Late Recognition The story of Vincent van Gogh's posthumous recognition is both a tale of perseverance and a reflection on the changing nature of artistic appreciation. During his lifetime, Vincent struggled not only with mental illness and poverty but also with disdain and indifference from the public and critics towards his work. However, after his death, the narrative of his life and art underwent a radical transformation, thanks largely to the efforts of his sister-in-law, Johanna van Gogh Bonger. Johanna, the widow of Theo van Gogh, dedicated herself tirelessly to promoting Vincent's work after the deaths of both brothers. She was the one who organized exhibitions, compiled and published his letters, and negotiated with galleries and collectors, helping to establish Vincent as a central figure in the history of modern art. Her commitment to preserving Vincent's legacy was crucial to the growth of his fame and the critical re-evaluation of his work. The shift in the perception of Van Gogh's work can be attributed to several factors, including the growing interest in post-impressionism and the narratives surrounding the tortured artist figure. The emotional intensity and vibrant palette of Van Gogh resonated with new generations of artists and art enthusiasts, who saw in his work a pure and intense expression of human experience. The story of late recognition underscores the complexity of fame and success in art. Vincent's life, marked by rejection and loneliness, contrasts sharply with his current status as one of the most beloved and valued painters. This late recognition not only reflects a shift in artistic tastes but also the importance of passionate advocates like Johanna, whose faith in Vincent's genius helped secure his place in the pantheon of art. The evolution of Van Gogh's fame is a testament to how time can profoundly alter an artist's legacy, moving from obscurity to worldwide acclaim. Number 2. Van Gogh and the Night Sky Vincent van Gogh's fascination with the night sky is evident in several of his most iconic works, including Starry Night and Café Terrace at Night. These paintings reflect not only his ability to capture the beauty and energy of the nocturnal world but also his inclination to explore themes of loneliness, contemplation, and the search for light in the darkness. Van Gogh saw in the night sky an infinite canvas, replete with possibilities to explore color, light, and emotion. In Starry Night, Van Gogh employs dramatic swirls to capture the vibrant activity of the sky, surrounded by a tranquil village. This contrast between the liveliness of the sky and the stillness of the earth reflects the duality of human existence, caught between the immensity of the universe and the simplicity of everyday life. Through his unique interpretation of the night sky, Van Gogh conveys a sense of wonder and mystery, inviting the viewer to ponder their place in the cosmos. Café Terrace at Night, on the other hand, offers a more earthly and accessible perspective on the night sky. Here, Van Gogh captures the warmth and comfort of a nocturnal life scene, illuminated under a starry sky. The work highlights his mastery of light and color to evoke a specific atmosphere, blending elements of everyday life with a deeper contemplation of the universe. These works not only demonstrate Van Gogh's innovative technique and aesthetic sensibility but also offer a window into his inner world. His focus on the night sky can be interpreted as a reflection of his constant search for hope, enlightenment, and beauty amid his own personal struggles. Van Gogh's choice to explore these themes through the night sky reveals his deep connection with nature and his persistent inquiry into human existence and its relationship with the broader universe. Number 1. His tragic end was the beginning of his legend. Vincent van Gogh's life ended as tragically as it was lived, marked by struggle and suffering. His premature death marked the abrupt end of a life passionately devoted to art, leaving behind a legacy that over time became the essence of the tortured artist figure. Despite his tragic end, or perhaps because of it, van Gogh's figure and work have captured the imagination and hearts of generations becoming synonymous with artistic genius and unwavering dedication. His life, filled with adversities, 
has become a source of fascination for both scholars and the general public, fueling an insatiable interest in understanding the man behind the masterpieces. This interest has been amplified by the numerous letters he left, offering a unique window into his thoughts, aspirations, and internal battles. The transition of Van Gogh from a virtually unknown artist in life to one of the most famous and appreciated painters in history is a story of post-mortem artistic redemption. Museums around the world now house his works, and his influence extends beyond galleries, permeating popular culture and the collective imagination. His ability to express beauty, pain, and hope through the canvas continues to resonate with a broad audience, ensuring that his legacy endures. The story of Van Gogh is a powerful reminder of how the perception of art and the artist can transform over time. His life and work, encapsulated in the narrative of the unrecognized genius of his time, have become a symbol of creative perseverance and unconditional passion for art. Van Gogh's tragic death was not the end but the catalyst that allowed his genius to be finally recognized and celebrated, leaving an indelible mark on the history of art.